Morning guys. Well, it's feeding time around here. We're gonna get all the horses fed and do some rounds on the ranch and we're gonna take you along. We've got several horses here to feed before we even feed ourselves. Here's Czar, ready for some breakfast. Mr. Arizona. Trigger. Alright guys, change of plans. Uh, Jerry just showed up and said somebody's coming to look at a foal. So he's going to go gather them on his quad and we're going to take care of that before we uh, check water, haul water and do all that stuff. So let's go show someone a foal. <laughs> They don't know anything about a human. I don't spend a lot of time with them. I come out and just see and make sure their water's good or whatever, but right. I don't ever really get around them until we, we until we actually brand them. The branding's the first time we actually grab hold of them and we'll uh, halter them, rub on them, tie them up, put a brand on them, and lead them a little bit and turn them out. And then after that, we'll come out once or maybe every two weeks and catch them and mess with them. So by the time they leave here, they will they will tie, they will stand, most of them will trim, and they will load, and they will hold. Interaction right there. There you go, babies. There you go. Hi, babies. You're way too tall already. Easy. Calm down. It's okay. You can see that wrong from the Easy. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down.
Well, looky here. Some of the yearlings came in. Hi, guys. Well, he's all nice and relaxed now. Check him out. <laughs> Sydney's all done playing with her colt and there he goes back out to pasture. We're making our rounds, checking the waters. Uh, we always start by checking number two. This is where we pump water up to. And then from number two, it flows around to um, the other storage tanks and into the center. But number two is full, so that's always good. We always want number two to be full. Maybe we'll get some rain today. We got some clouds all the way around us. It's not supposed to be this empty. It's coming in good though, so I don't know. I don't know why it's so empty. Out, but I don't know why it's not full. Up above was running over. So this one should be more full than it is. And Maybe there's a leak. Might be a leak. leak. Maybe something stuck in the line. Rock, a fish. So there should be more pressure than that? I, yeah, I think so. So something's up. We gotta figure out what it is. So we're just gonna leave this without a float. These parts are kind of worn out. This float arm and these brass pieces. So I'll just replace these pieces because they'll end up getting broke and then this whole tank of water will just be running over. So we'll go fix that float up and come back and see see well, how we'll, we'll go check the pipeline too see see why there's not very much pressure. Okay. We're gonna go under the trussle. Cool. I love trestles. Oh it hasn't rained for a long time, so we're able to cross the perco. Lincoln, did you get all wet? 
Did that water splash all over you? <laughs> Yeah, waterworks. So we had clouds all around us all day, but no rain at all. Not yet. One day it'll come. Okay, explain this to those of us who don't know waterworks. Uh, this is a pump. It's a trash pump. Water and pump. And it sucks water in and then pumps it out. And pressurizes it. Yeah. And we have a plugged line. We're going to just pressurize it and see if we can figure something out. If it was airlock, this helps it on airlock. If there's something stuck in the pipe, hopefully it'll blow it out. If not, we're going to have to start digging. Okay. And that's, that's like, I don't know, three miles of pipe. Come on, baby. Jerry's gonna head down to the other tank and see if anything got pushed out of there. There he goes, right there. 
Well, here we are up here at uh, what we call the number four tank. We were pushing water up at number two, so we're going to see if it's helped at all. And as you can see, the water's actually coming in. Before, it was just trickling. It was either airlocked or there was something caught in the pipe. We've got it running now, so. It's a good feeling. Well, Henson and Jerry went down to put that float back in that, um, that storage tank and I came to haul some water to a different spot. So it seems like today's been a water kind of day. Well, we got the valve on. Shooting up the top. Oh yeah, the, the pressure increased a lot. Yeah, see if you have enough hands now. Hold the plunger down. Okay, you're good. Take the pin. Slide it through. Like there was success. Yeah. Pull it up, see if it shuts it off, and there it is. It'll shut it off. We'll probably have to adjust the float. So our day's not over yet. We're uh, taking a mare out. We're gonna breed her to a stud. We're gonna take Trigger out and put him back out with his mares and feed yeah. and then feed ourselves feed after that. Uh, but it was a pretty productive day. What do you think? I'd rather have been riding, but it was good. And we hauled some water. Yeah, we're just water dogging it. But yeah, day went by fast, too fast. Yeah, we didn't get any riding in today, but since we didn't today, we'll make sure we get them ridden tomorrow. Um, I guess that's it then. We'll see you next time.